Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. It's time for another layout update. A layout update, but Dave, it doesn't look like you've done anything. Well, thank you for pointing that out. But <laughs> I did spend a good amount of time yesterday cleaning up in here. Uh, if you saw my recent video where I opened that bridge, you probably saw it's a bit of a mess in here. I did some work to clean that up. At least I have the room here open in the middle, and that will make things a lot easier. I also started to clean up the other corner where hopefully the expansion will go. I still have a lot of stuff to move. I have a large pile of foam pieces uh, that are remnants of carving, uh, of old mountains, and I need to move all of them. Probably up into the attic. I've got bags and bags of foam pieces. I do hope to be able to use all of it, so I'm saving as much as I can. If I can clean that stuff out of that corner over here, clean some of my projects off the rolling table, and get the Lego out of here, I'll have a good space to work with, at least for mocking up what could be the expansion. Now, things haven't changed much on most of the layout. Like behind me, Turtle Mountain here, <laughs> or whatever we want to call it. That's been the same for quite a long time, partially because I haven't really decided what to do with that part of the layout. We won't know until it happens. I had started working on the stream underneath the Arch Underbridge, and that project kind of stalled. Uh, I'm thinking if I get a couple of small water features or a large water feature kind of prepped, then I can work on adding the water kind of all at one time so that I'm in it and I can make improvements and remember what I did when it turns out well. And we have the back corner here, forever in a state of limbo. I do still want to make a custom bridge for this spot, and I will, eventually. The middle of the layout, still don't know what to do with that. Uh, depending what happens with the expansion, maybe I'll put a couple of sidings here. Uh, maybe I won't. It kind of depends how the overall layout feels. I kind of feel like whether it's the middle of the layout or not, for the room, it's kind of a draw. So if you come in and you look at this spot here, I want it to be interesting. So I, I do think I will do the viaduct. I don't know if this bridge will stay here or not. Um, it just happened to more or less fit there when I was looking for someplace. I don't have a lot of straights that are single track. So if I put that somewhere, I'd have to have another similar bridge behind it or in front of it. So at the moment, it works there. It might look good with some trees kind of partially obscuring it, kind of add some depth. But for now, I'm going to leave it just sitting there until I come up with a better plan. And maybe it will have a home on the extension, which would be fitting considering that bridge is what got me really thinking about doing an extension in the first place. At this point, none of this is going to change until I decide if and what is happening with an extension, because it's possible that the two main loops on the bottom level get altered and instead of going into this tunnel, end up going straight and off what is currently at the layout table. Hopefully I have the good sense not to redesign this entire side of the layout. That would be a big waste of time and, and materials. Spent a lot of time and effort on this, so I do want to keep it. So part of what I'm thinking is if I do this extension out this side, it will be only the main level of the layout and it won't be the upper loops. But again, who knows? Uh, I might have a crazy idea and decide to bring them all out. We won't know until it happens. So right here is where the current layout ends. And about right here is where I think the extension would start, which would give me, well, depending on how I build it, a two to three foot aisle right through here that I would need a bridge to cover. And I cannot handle a duck under. My back just can't take it. So in order for me to do something that works, I either need a complicated lift system to lift the whole uh, section up, or I need something that I can hinge up and then walk through. 
So if I do that, then I have an aisle here and then an aisle this way with kind of a U-shaped table filling up that space. I'd rather do that than just a big table that I'd have to climb on top of. Uh, I, I think with a U-shape, it would also give me more of an ability to have kind of variation in scenes as it goes around. The cool thing that's really kind of exciting me about this portion of it is that that's enough space for 072. So the rest of the layout will still be unfortunately 054 because it would take a total redesign to accommodate larger turns through all of it. But if this can come out and go on a nice wide curve, I just think that will be fun. I don't think there's enough room for a loop, but who knows? One of those things we won't know until we check it out. One of the other questions then is, where does it return? I can have another bridge crossing the pathway here back to the existing track on the other end of the loop, or I can have it come straight down the wall behind me all the way down to the back corner. I don't know which I prefer. I think the fewer lift ups I have to do, the better. Um, I think I have room to run that track along the wall, but I won't really know until I get back there and try to mock it up and see how much room it takes up. One of my other concerns is how do I construct that side of the layout? Do I do it exactly the same as this or do I vary it a little bit? This is one by four framing that has a two inch foam base on it. Now I could do the same thing over there or I could do the one by four framing and then support a plywood sub roadbed all the way around and then just have open table. And that might give me a little more freedom with how I design the foam scenery to go around it. The way I've been doing it, I really have to stack it up and I need to fill all the space because the foam supports all the track. I don't know. I, I'm thinking if I'm to build a whole nother section, I should probably do it slightly different and make some improvements based on what I've learned doing this layout. And while I, I love the way this is built, when you deal with the foam, there are irregularities in its surface. It can go up and down and vary a little bit. So while it's two inches, it's not always two inches thick and it doesn't always meet up end to end very well. What really is catching me up now is the planning of it. Planning is not my strong point. Um, I like to have a general idea and then just start doing it and seeing how I like it as I set it up. Um, but I've been really trying to look at my options in any rail to, to mock up the layout in, in any rail to get an idea of what fits, how it fits, and what my options are. So I'm going to continue trying to design it in any rail before I even buy any materials. I think the first step I'm really taking is I'm going to continue seeing what fits uh, using the software and maybe asking you guys what you think of a couple of options to get some good feedback because a lot of times you guys have an idea or an opinion that wouldn't have occurred to me so we'll, we'll see we'll see where it goes and i'm kind of hoping that i can do a whole building a layout video series um, obviously it's not a full layout but I, I would have to do everything that i've done so far starting from scratch bench work tabletop wiring road bed, sub road bed, whatever. So I think it's a great opportunity to make a bunch of really interesting videos. But for now, I think I have to get back to the software and just see what fits in the space. If you were in my position and you had this layout and you had another eight by eight foot section at one end of it, what would you want to do with it? I could do a table and I could get a big roundhouse on there and things like that. But for some reason, I'm really an around the walls layout kind of a guy. I've never been a big fan of tables. So I don't know. I would, I'm really hesitant to make any large surface. There are good reasons and rationale for all sorts of things that I'm probably not going to consider. And along those lines, one of the things I am doing is I took this whole space that my layout's in, uh, which is about 20 something feet this way by 20 feet this way with a notch cut out where the closet and the stairs are. And I tried to design a continuous folded running loop that kind of snaked through the whole room. 
and it was an interesting experiment because it really got me to look at the space differently. So I might do some of that too, just to see what I would do if I had the option to start over. What kind of different layout would I make? Well, that's the nice thing about the software. I know there are a couple different types out there, but I've always really felt that AnyRail worked really well for what I wanted to do. AnyRail has been, I felt, the easiest to use, uh, shortest learning curve. I found it very easy just to get in there and start building. Uh, the only limiting factor at the beginning was that in the free version, they only let you use 50 pieces of track. And with a space like this, I was running out of track very soon. So after trying to design the layout in chunks, I just said, you know what, I'll pay the 40 bucks or whatever it was. And I'm glad I did because I've used that software so much. Obviously not to its full potential because I've kind of not considered it, you know, three-dimensionally up and down only level by level, but hey, I'm getting better. I'm going to try and we'll see what happens. If you have ideas, which I'm sure you do, of what to do with an eight by eight foot space to add on to this layout, let me know. I'd be interested to hear all sorts of opinions and options because I know I get stuck in probably a very narrow uh, idea of what the layout should be. I hope this turns into a good series and I hope you enjoy all of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.